BBC News. Ukraine's President Volodymyr Zelensky has accused Russia of committing a war crime by bombing a maternity and children's hospital in the besieged city of Mariupol. At least 17 people are said to have been hurt. Video footage shows a building reduced to a shell with a huge crater nearby. The World Health Organization says it's verified at least 18 different attacks on health facilities in Ukraine since the invasion began. A Ukrainian negotiator has said that more than 40,000 women and children were evacuated from areas under attack by Russia on Wednesday. David Arachamia said the figure was lower than the 100,000 that was hoped for. Ukrainian officials accused Russian troops of repeatedly violating ceasefires meant to allow humanitarian corridors. Russia has accused Ukrainian forces of doing the same. Western officials say they're worried Russia could deploy non-conventional weapons as its assault in Ukraine continues. A BBC correspondent said it's understood the officials are referring to chemical weapons, which have been used by Russia's ally, President Assad, on civilians in Syria. The UN nuclear watchdog, the IAEA, says it's lost remote data transmission from its systems monitoring a second major nuclear power plant in Ukraine, Zaporizhia. It said the reason for the disruption in the transmission of safety data was not immediately clear. In other news, South Korea's presidential election has been narrowly won by the Conservative opposition leader, Yoon sung Yeol. The North Korean leader Kim Jong-un says his country is developing a reconnaissance satellite in order to collect information on the US military in the region. On Saturday, Pyongyang test-fired a ballistic missile it said was linked to the development of the satellite. BBC News.